just been so while you were. Good morning, chair. Good morning, table. Good morning, floor. Good morning, floor. Good morning, huh? Hello? What's this? Hello? No? No one? Hmm. <gasps> hey, Sonic! Look! He's probably with Tails. Hey, guys! Look what I have! Hi, Ames. A letter? For me? No, it's for me. Care to read it? All right. <clears throat> we, the archaeology group, are happy to invite you to archaeological excavations. We have come to need your knowledge of ancient languages. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, cool. K.O. <laughs> Boo. Sorry. Someone got distracted. You can't get distracted, or aliens will eat your brains from their back. Ugh. Uh, okay. It doesn't make any sense. And how did you sneak up like that? The magic of scenario. What were you talking about? Amy's leaving. What? But, but, what? You, you, you leaving us? Whoa, whoa, chill. Not like that. I'm just invited to an archaeology group. It won't be for long. Really. I, I promise. Well, then let's pack your things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the spirit. Amy needs some food. Physical fitness. Knuckles insisted. Some tools. And knowledge about the place I'm going. Come in. Hey, Ames. Hi, Sonic. So, uh, for how long are you going? Um, I don't know. Till I find something valuable, I guess. Uh oh. So, uh, Amy. Is there a way for you to not go? What? But why? You don't want me to go after my dream? Uh, no, no. It's just, uh, I just, um, I, oh. Who, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Look, Jix's reaction was already weird. And then you come to my place. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, you will come back, right? Definitely. Okay. Uh, finish packing your stuff. Already did. Bye. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Why do you have to do this in the morning? It's not that bad. And how are you not sleepy? I didn't sleep. Someone has to watch out for the government. They could be anywhere. Well, I'll get going, guys. Wait. Uh, stay safe. Will do. You better give my tools back. I will. <laughs> Why the long face? Yeah, it's just... I... I have a bad feeling about this. Good morning! Good morning! How is your morning going? Another day, another headache. Found anything yet? No, nothing yet. Except for this key. Yeah, but it's nothing special. Hmm. Huh. You never know. Maybe it is something valuable. Don't get your hopes up. I'll keep it. Okay, do what you want. No peace. I will defeat you, Sonic! Huh, I would like to see you try again. I will! I promise! Huh, looks like you're having a hard time keeping them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Where's your precious girlfriend, Sonic? Uh, Amy's not my girlfriend! I'm not worried about her at all! I didn't say anything about worrying, but okay. Stop looking at me! You are worried about her! No, I'm not! 
Oh, I don't know, man. You're acting strange all evening. It's morning, Knuckles. See? Even Knuckles noticed. Yeah, well, she's a capable woman. She can take care of herself, okay? There's no point worrying about her. Cry, Tails? Pick me up, 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 pick me up. Your face says otherwise. Hmm. Traitor. Whatever. Let's kick those crab bots butts. Hey guys, can you please give me my tool back? Here! A stick is not a tool! Huh? Ha! <laughs> yes! Here's your wrench, by the way! Thanks! Huh? Hey, need help? <laughs> oh, Alright, here we Get go! Out. Come on! <laughs> Oh. Hey, Ames! Uh. Oh. Oh. Well, Eggman, where are you gonna do now? I'll get you next time, Sonic! I will! <laughs> See ya! Oh. <laughs> and Sonic saves the day! Good job, Team Knuckles! It's Team Sonic. Minus Amy. Uh, speaking about Amy and worrying, I wonder how she's doing. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Mad Burger. We didn't have any breakfast before Eggman attacked. Let's go! That way Sonic can keep worrying about Amy, huh? Hey! Don't pretend, we all know. Shut up, Tails. Why should I? I mean, like, you won't shut up about Amy, so why should I shut you know, up about You know what? I'm getting really sick of this. We're all getting sick of you. <laughs> Joke's on you, Sonic. I'm in the Sonic Amy Nation, too. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. Wow, you guys really don't need to do all this. It's no problem. I live... <laughs> Crates heavier than this at Mad Burger all the time. Anything for you, Amy. Can't handle carrying a few boxes yourself, Ames. Guess you could use some more training. I am plenty capable. It's called being a gentleman, Sonic. Not like you even know what that means. Whoops. Gentlemen? Huh. You really think these guys are helping you out just to be nice? Did you forget that Dave tried to destroy the planet? so much. It's not like you're my boyfriend. Uh, 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 that's when Eggman launched his attack. Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I couldn't have asked for better timing. I don't know why I said those things. It's not like I was jealous. It's just, why didn't Amy ask me for help? I'm the one who saves the day. I could have gotten it done in no time. Dave of all people. I'm her go-to guy. And Amy, she's my... She's... Amy's my gal. Ahem, uh, that was some great swinging, Ames. You sure gave Egghead a run for his money. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, you did great, too. <laughs> so, uh... I'm, I'm sorry. sorry! Nah, you have nothing to apologize for. I was out of line. That That wasn't cool. Hey, humility looks good on you. <laughs> really, though, it's okay. How about you and I grab a bite to eat and catch a flick or something? Don't freak out. You know, let me make it up to you, or something. Just, uh, just you and me? Yeah! I'm thinking it's been a while since you and I did something without sticks and the guys. I'll pick you up at a uh, six-ish. I don't mean actually pick you up, of course. Not that you're heavy, just you're... Plenty capable of walking. <laughs> how, how about you just meet me at the Villa Square instead? Okay. Okay, see you at six. Bye. Ah, my quills are a mess. Now it's gonna take even longer to get ready tonight. So the rodents are going on a date, are they? Boys, start up the eggmobile. There's been a change in plans. <laughs> 
You're actually on time! What's that supposed to mean? I'm never late. Oh, really now? Actually, yeah, don't respond to that. Come on. Uh, wait, we're not going to Madburger? Oh, no, we can't go to Madburger. Not when you're all dressed up. He noticed? Here we are. I hope you're hungry. Uh, Sonic, a little problem? Eggman? Why, if it isn't Rosio and Bluliet. What the heck are you doing here, Egg Brains? Maybe this is my part-time job. Robot parts don't pay for themselves, genius. You don't know me. Fine, just get us a different server. The other servers are tied up at the moat. <coughs> nope, not dealing with this tonight. Come on, let's see what else we can get to eat. What's the matter, Sonic? This restaurant isn't fancy enough for you. Who would have known that Mad Burger was the only other restaurant open tonight? <laughs> Huh. Crud. We finished dinner way faster than I planned. There's still tons of time to kill before the movie. Yo, up for a walk in the park before the show? Huh? Oh, uh, sure, sounds great. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a genius. I just like to play it cool. Can't have Tails feeling threatened. Uh-huh. Nobody likes a show off, Sonic! Oh, yeah? Well, who asked you, anyway? Want me to give him a stern talking to? I'm sure a quick one-two from my hammer will get him off our tails for a little bit. No, no, no. I don't want you getting all scuffed up when you look so fancy. Besides, I don't think fighting baddies is something most people do on a first date. Um, okay. Let's just try to enjoy tonight, okay? I mean, surely Egghead's got better things to do than pester us all night. Wow, Sonic! Don't you know you're supposed to open the door for the lady? A real gentleman walks on the outside of the sidewalk. Take this as a lesson, rat. It's your fault Amy's outfit is ruined. Only one scoop of ice cream. Quit being such a cheapskate and treat Amy to something nicer. Oh, only eight rings on you. Wow, you really are a cheap date. I could feel myself slipping into madness. I was like a ticking time bomb. I'd show him. He was about to get knocked into next week. Jeez Louise, can you believe the acting in this movie? And the writing is horrendous. This guy's the cheesiest villain I have ever seen. How about every time that bozo says something cliche, we throw popcorn at the screen? Oh, <laughs> Something I can do? Uh huh. It's okay. Just breathe. Huh. <laughs> Sonic! Shh, shh, shh. Hey, Baza! Can't you see we're on a. Uh, uh, we're, um. That is to say, Sonic and I were, um. <laughs> oh, crap, you almost called it a date. Sonic would flip if you said that. But it sure feels like a date. Oh, that doesn't matter. He never said tonight was a date. Oh no, have I misread this whole evening? Way to go. You're the lovesick child all over again. You're gonna scare him off. But the way he looked at me, shut up! Yeah. We're just, um, I mean, the dumb, I mean to say the dumb, we're out, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You hang back, I got this. Not cool, Sonic. The stash is off limits. You know what else isn't cool? You! World domination is one thing, but stalking us all night long? What gives? <laughs> oh, Sonic. Isn't it obvious? Huh? I'm here to make sure you don't ruin your date. You're the one ruining it! All right, that's enough. I'm gonna have to ask you jokers to leave. You're disrupting the movie. It was lame anyway. Me too, he's the one who... Uh, ha <laughs> uh, never mind. 
You said you were trying to keep me from ruining tonight. If that's true, what made you think I was gonna blow it? Well, for one, it's you. Besides that, you run your mouth nonstop, yet you're purse-lipped about the one thing that matters most in this world. Apart from the Eggman Empire, that is. Huh? Love. I'm talking about love. Wah! It sounds so creepy coming from you. You have to tell her how you feel. Forget I asked. It's easy. I'll demonstrate. Please don't. I, Eggman, hate your guts. So simple even you can manage. I was doing just fine without your help. Did you even tell her this was a date? Duh. Of course I... Did not. You're a real Casanova. Whatever. I'm more of an action speak louder than words kind of guy anyway. Hmm. You need more help than I thought. You... Oh. Why do you care so much about what happens with Amy and me, huh? No matter which way this goes, it's a win for me. You hurt her, I'll appeal to her need for revenge and recruit her for my army. No chance. And if it goes well, you'll be so focused on each other, I won't have to worry about you constantly foiling my schemes. <sighs> Joke's on you. Kicking your butt is one of our favorite shared pastimes. Be that as it may. Amy's a special one, even if she has a penchant for destroying my bots. She deserves a lot better than you. You might want to make your move before she figures that out for herself. Uh, um, uh. <laughs> there you are, troublemaker! Sorry, we missed out on the movie, Ames. Never fear, Amy Rose is here. Are those vouchers? How did you... I calmly explained the situation, and the manager sympathized so much, she gave me these and said to come back anytime. You'd be surprised what a little kindness will get you. Actually, I have something for you too, Eggman. Oh, is it a free movie voucher too? Nope. <laughs> Whatever happened to kindness? <laughs> My hero. Come on, you. I want ice cream. And I want to ask you something. Uh, that reminds me, uh, can we talk about this morning? <coughs> uh, what about it? You seemed especially annoyed. Did I do something to upset you? What? No way! Uh, I just... This may make me sound like a jerk, but can't help but notice everybody in town fussing over you and... I don't know. Uh-huh! You were jealous I was stealing your limelight! That's not why I was jealous. Oh. oh I'm no good at talking about this stuff. Come on, there's gotta be a way I can tell her without telling her. Huh? There! <laughs> There's a live band and everything. <sighs> Let's show them what we can do. Dance with me, Ames? I, I'd love to. Any requests from the duo dominating the dance floor? Make it a slow one, will ya? Sonic the Hedgehog, did I really just hear you use the word slow willingly? Huh. Well, that doesn't mean my heart stopped racing. We shouldn't enjoy this so much. He never called it a date. But could he really blame me? Doesn't he know the effect he has on me? Oh, that look in his
those eyes. That smile of hers. It I could just... just... Sonic? Amy. What is this? Rain? Yeah, I'm sure we can ignore it. Oh, okay. No need to worry. I got you. I'll give you a lift back to your house. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready for tonight to be over. <laughs> water. Why has it always got to be water? But all that hydroplaning got us here even faster. I ought to ask Tail to make me some water-repelling shoes. Like the speed of... I don't know. Like just something about him, the water. Just ask him. 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 Yeah. Sonic, was this a date? Huh? I can't lose your eye. She had no idea this whole time. Yeah, of course it was a date. Wasn't it obvious? No, it was not obvious! I know you hate it when I talk about feelings, and, and I've been trying so hard to respect that all night, but I, but I can't keep pretending that this doesn't confuse me. Our whole lives I pursued you, but you made it clear you weren't interested. So I bit my tongue, I backed off. And then you stop running from me. And I swear sometimes the way you look at me, it's almost as if, but see, here I am again. You told me you don't feel that way about me, but then why a date? Amy, I'm such an idiot. I was trying to win you over tonight, not torture you. Then do something about it. Tell her already. Right. And that dance, chaos, that dance. How can you expect me to- <gasps> Ames, I owe you an explanation. And bear with me, will ya? I'm great at lots of things, but serious talk isn't my strong suit. Uh-huh. Here it goes. When we were kids, I had lots of preconceived notions about, well, lots of things. I assumed dating meant changing who you are, giving up your freedom. Relationships sounded serious and confusing and messy, so I avoided you. But... As we got older, and as we started spending more time together, I realized that being with you isn't that way at all. With you, it's it's exciting and easy and liberating. And I started thinking maybe this is what it's supposed to be like, and maybe I wanted this after all, and I just spent too long trying to make up my mind. And now other people are noticing you too, which they should. You're amazing, but... I wanted them all to see that Amy Rose is my gal. Uh, that you could be mine, that is. Well, not mine. Nobody owns you. I, uh, shit, that was going so well. Sonic, I've always been yours. Huh? And I'll always be yours. Then I'm yours too. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Sorry. Old habits die hard. <laughs> oh, I think I can learn to live with that. <laughs> hey, well done, rodent. Awoga! Hmm. I immediately regret this. Ah. Uh, oh my. Come on, you rust buckets, let's start planning how we break them up. But sir, we just spent the entire evening helping them get together. And it was just getting good. Shut your traps. If I wanted your opinions, I would have built you with brains. And we remained each other's. Forever. I love you both so much. And I love seeing you in love. Believe me, I do. But can you see the making out till after the battle? What? Did the evil aliens finally get to you and replace your brains with spaghetti noodles? Sonic and Amy have clearly discovered some ancient ritual where they can transfer and combine their power via their mouths and become some kind of super weapon. They're indestructible in this form. Hey! <laughs> Uh-oh. Whatever you two do, don't listen to Tails. It's for the greater good. Hell yeah! Come with sticks! Let your freak flags fly! 
And I thought you were the romantic among us. <laughs> Teenagers. The roof. Of course. I knew you'd be hiding up here. Oh, not hiding, I'm, I'm just thinking. Here. It's cold tonight. Yeah, thanks, Ames. Can you join me? <laughs> I want to have a baby. Uh, you what? Sonic, look, if you're saying that just because it's what I want, then don't. I, I know I've talked you into doing things you, you don't always want to do, but this isn't something... Amy, quit being so hysterical. I want this. I really do. I want to have a baby. I mean, if you want to, I'm ready. Let's have a baby! Not on the roof, not on the roof. Hey, little bro, what's up? Are you okay? You, you look exhausted. Yeah, well, Amy's of... Uh, I've, uh, I've, ob obviously got me working too much. Women, am I right, huh? Uh, Sonic, where are you? I'm on my lunch break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I better finish my memory erasing device post haste. Yeah. <sighs> Now, I'm sorry, my darling, but I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me for a moment. To do what? We're having a baby! 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 Hey, guess what? Uh, what? We're having a baby! Sonic, we got your urgent message! What's going on? Where's the villain? It's been a long time since I got to break anything. Family and friends! Thank you for meeting us here. Prepare yourselves for the most exciting news you will ever hear in your life. Feast your eyes upon Sonic Jr. Sonic, you jerk! You didn't even bore me first! Here I am stuffing my face in front of all our friends, and you pick now to announce the most important moment of our lives! Oh man, I'm sorry, I really wanted to eat that ice cream. Now I'm gonna have to get another! We are going to be we uncles. Are going to be uncles. You named Amy's tummy after yourself? No, Sticks, I'm pregnant. And we're not naming the baby Sonic Jr. Yes, we are! So, when are they arriving? They? they? We're just expecting one, I think. <laughs> they? They? Well, you do know that hedgehogs typically have several at a time. Um, well, that's actually kind of rare nowadays, Rouge. I don't know. This one gal I met had three her first time around. And Bridget from my high school, she had four. Sasha had three. Elena and Ruben had two. And we're expecting another two this November. I even know someone who had six. Could you believe it? But I guess it's too early to know. What have you done to me? <laughs> I hate this part. The gel is so freaking cold. Ah, oh, babe, you want to trade? I don't know how many chili dogs I've been eating lately. I've got to be about, like, f what, five times your size now? Come on. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Here we go. Ah, there. The baby is still looking nice and healthy. And you're sure there's just one? Yes, Dad. Like I've been telling you, every time you come in, there's only one. I still need to get Rouge for that. So, do you want to know if you're having a boy or girl? You can tell? Yes! Wait, no! Wait! Let's do that cake thing, Sonic! A cake thing? Yeah, yeah, don't tell us. Just put it in an envelope or something. This is wonderful. This I've is always it. This wanted is for to real. do this. So we just take this oh, to a bakery and we need the cake pink or blue. I'm oh sure I can convince him and naming him I Sonic Jr. I need to get a cake in the no way. I can't do that. But yeah, he's going to get into everything. I'm going to surprise. No, I'm going to teach him how to get on Egghead's last nerve. I don't have to look at it. It's a total surprise. If it's a girl. It's a magical moment. Oh, my sweet little one. I know it's going to be a long while until you're here, but we just can't wait to meet you. Sonic? <sighs> if it's a girl. Oh, God. Nah, she's probably going to grow up and be so beautiful. If anyone tries anything, I'm so, so get by and dispose of. That's nice, dear. Now, can you stop planning your murder spree and help me pick out a cake? What kind of strange, evil cake chooses what a baby is? Sticks for the last time. That's not how this works. All right, everyone. Let's gather around and solve the mystery. Uh, mm. Step away from the dessert. 
The cake has too much power. It must be destroyed. Sticks, no! Is that a flamethrower? Mmm! You idiots almost burned a perfectly good cake! We're having a girl! Time to eradicate anything with a Y chromosome! Don't hug me, I just stole your cake! I'm still a villain, damn it! <sighs> oh, sorry for crashing on the couch last night, Ames. I just. I just couldn't sleep with the baby kicking all night. You don't say. I'm sorry, I just can't eat one more bite! Is that ice cream? Waiter! Waiter! Now if I could just get a phone number. What is my phone number? Hello, sexy mama. Don't you fucking touch me! Why are you so far away from me? Uh. Wow, you guys! This is too much! I don't even know how we could ever repay you! Bling diapers? Oh, Amy, no need to repay me. You agreeing to be in our wedding on such short notice is payment enough. You hear that, honey? Oh, isn't it just great how they decided to have a spur-of-the-moment wedding before our due date? You know what else is great, babe? Having feeling in my left arm, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. It would be really cool if I got to keep that. Open my next! Open my next! Open my next! Wow, you made this yourself, Sticks? Aw, it's adorable. And it doubles as a switchblade, you know, in case the baby needs to defend itself. Ugh, you guys! I just finished my gift for Aurora, my number one dad mug. It's a mobile of the solar system to a one to 200 million scale, of course. Tails, this is... Um, how is this gonna fit in the nursery? Oh, we missed one. For me? Huh. Is that a maternity shirt? You look just like Eggbreath used to back in the day. I have to admit that is Robotnik's shape. Hey, uh, Amy, darling, baby, sweetheart, I didn't do that, so just like, I mean, which one of you guys did this? Uh, uh, do you not realize the hell you've just unleashed? Eggman, what are you doing here? Uh. <laughs> oh. 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 What is it, sir? A gray hair. This is it. My time is drawn to a close. If it makes you feel any better, I thought you were gonna kick the bucket years ago. When I'm gone, what will be my legacy? I have nothing to show but a rusty building full of useless pieces of junk like you. Hey, I didn't even take over one continent for Pete's sake. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end of life. Perhaps you shall be remembered as a creator rather than a conqueror. One must admit, you succeeded far more often when you were teaming up with Sonic to save the world rather than when you were trying to destroy it. That's it. Sonic. That's the answer. I never felt more alive than when we were fighting to the death. A good old bout with that blue devil will lift my spirits again. He won't even bat an eye at us anymore. Sure he will. We just need to get his attention. But sir, she's with child. Meaning she won't be able to fight back. Bring her to me. You know, you've got some nerve bringing me here. It's a shame I left my hammer at home. I could have thanked you for the gift you gave me. Now, Amy, we both know you can't fight in your precious condition. What are you going to do with us? Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you or a freaking baby. I may be an evil genius, but I'm not a monster. It won't take long for Sonic to realize you're missing. My lair is the first place he'll check. Wow, you're just dripping with chivalry. Meanwhile, I'll be keeping you in this very dangerous looking yet completely ethical cage. The sight alone will enrage Sonic and he will break in. Little does he know, I've coded a special failsafe in this fortress. When the sensors recognize his exact DNA, the entire building will go into lockdown. Even after saving you and your unborn child, there will be no means of escape for a solid hour. Sonic will have no choice but to fight my warrior bots. Then, when all hope seems lost, I'll let him win. This time. When the hour is passed, boom. The lair will come out of lockdown. 
You idiots will go off on your merry way, and I can start planning my next evil scheme. Amy! Sonic! Sonic! It's a trap! Activating emergency lockdown! Ha! Huh. Now that you're here, you'll have to fight my two biggest mechs! You better not blink! <laughs> Sonic, I, I meant no harm! Oh, but I do! I just wanted to relive the glory days. You remember? It was really great. It was really great. It was great. Guys! I can't help you with reliving the past, but I can knock you into next Tuesday. <laughs> I haven't seen this side of you before. You know, this is honestly, Zai, we've known each other. We've known each other a long time. Come on. Guys! The baby is coming! What? What? Hey, Amy, baby, it's uh, it's okay. Just hold on. I'll get us out of here. You can't! Sure I can. We'll be at a hospital in a split. No, you can't. As soon as you broke into my island fortress, the building went into lockdown. Then unlock it. I can't. There's no override. The locks will disable in an hour. We don't have an hour. This is why you don't kidnap pregnant people! You'll have to deliver the baby here. You're going to help us. I'm not that kind of a doctor. I have a PhD in women's studies. I don't care. You have managed to interfere with every important moment in our lives, and I am not about to let you ruin this one. I won't say I've ruined every single one. Oh. Well, maybe I have ruined every single one. Hey! Are you listening to me? We need your help! I can't deliver this baby. But they can! Labor and delivery nurse database acquired. Labor and delivery nurse database acquired. This is- isn't how I pictured this day, this day would go. You and me both, Ames. You're in good hands now, Mrs. Hedgehog. You're gonna want to brace for this. Me? Brace for what? I already have your contraction patterns timed out in my program. Deep breath. The next contraction will start in three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! I want a baby, he says. Let's have a baby, he says. That is the last time I let you seduce me on our roof. Oh, God, let this end. Uh, what was that last bit? Just one more push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shush. Let's just clean you up and... Time of birth, 03-13, p.m. Healthy weight. Vitals are stable. Congratulations. Don't drop it, it's tiny. <laughs> Come here. That's right. Right to mommy. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, Sonic, she's even more perfect than I imagined. <laughs> she is. She's so small. Look at those eyes. Hi, oh, it's so good, Ames. Oh, she's looking at you. <laughs> it's me, your mom. You copy on an off day. <laughs> this is your dad. I look even cooler than I sound, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, you, you get, get kisses, kisses too. too. Ah, she's got my finger. Oh, baby, are you seeing this? Ah, you're so strong, Tiny. You'll be giving Uncle Knuckles a run for his money in no time. Huh? What? Ahem. I, uh, I knew you'd be hiding out here. I thought you'd like this back. Oh, thanks. Shouldn't you be, uh... Nah, the ladies need some sleep. Besides, I need to stretch my legs. I'd like to, um, bestow Orbot and Cubot on you uh, on an as-needed basis for nannying and what have you. Wow, I'm touched. I guess you're not such a hard-boiled egg after all. Don't get cute. I have to thank you, you know. We couldn't have done this without you. Granted, this was your fault in the first place. You listen here, you little pest. Just because, thank you. Seriously. Ah, oh, I... You're welcome. Nothing like a day like today to make you feel alive, am I right? Yes, Sonic. It sure does. Ah! Stay back! Sonic! Tails, have you found this source yet? Uh, not yet! It's, it's hard to pinpoint the exact location! Just hurry! This looked really serious this time. Huh? Well, what happened? Where am I? Oh. Is this a bed made of 
flowers? Huh? Um, hey there. I finally got some coordinates down. She should be on this island. If we get closer to it, I, I should be able to get a better reading. No time to waste then. Let's go. Uh, hey there, fellas. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Uh, not, not talkers, right? Okay, so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of rude to stare. Uh, what? Is that me? Wait, am I a princess? We getting any closer to our destination? Almost there, but, but we have a problem. The radar has gone haywire. We have no choice but to search on foot. Huh, looking at the map, it looks like there might be a village nearby. Maybe we should check it out and see if they've seen Amy. Huh. Huh? Is that? Good to see you're doing all right, Amy. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were a friend of ours. Ah! Wow, she's fast. Anyways, anything on the radar? Nope. Still haywire. Huh? Whoa! Whoa. There they are. They were trying to kidnap me. What? No, that, that's not what we were doing. Admittedly, we would have taken you with us if you were our friend. Nice freezing. Is it just me, or do these villagers look familiar? You gotta believe us when we say we're not trying to kidnap anyone. Someone took our friend and we need a saver. Likely story, outsider. Cease this at once. Grandpa! The village elder. My apologies on behalf of my tribe. I know we just treated you guys as criminals, but I beg you, please help us. I'll explain everything at my house. Wow, is this my royal dress? Well, since I am a princess now, I need to know the names of my kingdom and my subjects. Huh, you guys don't speak much, do you? Well, clearly my being gone has left you guys in a rut. So, as my first royal order, we need to clean this place. Then we will focus on learning how to speak. You, control the pests. You, get all the foliage out of here. You, dust the place. Boy, keeping track of all these jobs sure is tiring. Huh? Is that a bed of roses for me to rest on? Uh, finally, someone acknowledging all of my hard work. A girl could get used to this. For generations, our village has been terrorized by a nearby tribe. They kidnap our girls and escape without a trace. But no matter how far we've scoped the island, we could never find their village. We did our best to document their presence, so we could hopefully bring our girls back, but we could barely find anything. I'm afraid that the same fate has befallen your friend. I'm sorry. I wish we could do more to help. It's okay, this is plenty. We're gonna find our friend and find out who keeps kidnapping your friends. And don't worry too much about Amy. She's a lot smarter and stronger than you think. Huh. They fell asleep? Oh, they fell asleep too! How cute! I'll let them sleep in while I explore my palace. The walls arch so wildly, and there are so many portraits of me. Looking at these walls, it looks like they've been here for a while. But if that's the case, why did I only find out that I'm a princess now? Hmm. Now that I think about it, how exactly did I get here? I don't remember what happened between now and last night. Just where exactly am I? It doesn't seem like this place has an exit. And the only sources of light come from very tiny windows. And last I remember... Wait, what was I doing? Eh, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Could be I just fell asleep and they whisked me away to... Wait... What's my hammer doing here? And why is my communicator broken? What is it doing so close to... Oh! Wait, wait, that's my crown! And my dress! Is this... A sacrificial pit?! Ah, 
All those happy times were just lies? Now I remember! I came here to learn more about the lost ruins of the crawlers! The lost world where they showered their princess with love just to sacrifice her! You brats made me forget all of it! I'm getting out of here! I'm trying to pinpoint where this mysterious tribe could be. But it's such a small island, and there are no other nearby islands that could be inhabited. And the symbols on this rock the villagers found near where their people disappeared? It, it doesn't appear in any other ancient text. Maybe this mysterious tribe had access to some highly advanced teleportation methods. Or, or maybe they can mind control their victims to go wherever they ask them to go. Huh. I, I mean, I, I wish I could do more tests on the rock, uh, but its compounds are too weak. It just raises more questions than answers. Huh? Tails, doesn't this rock feel a little similar to our rock? I mean, it crumbles very similarly to our rock. The only other place on this island where a rock like this exists is the, the mountain. mountain. I'll set my plane to pick up knuckles and sticks. Once they get here, we'll go and survey the mountain. Hold on, Amy. Can't believe Amy has been kidnapped and I wasn't there to help her. Oh, it's Tails. Amy's not under here, but we're still looking. No, Sticks! I need you to get here as fast as you can. We think we know where Amy is, and we're gonna need backup. All right. But where are you guys? I'll explain on the way, but for now take my autopilot tornado. I sent the coordinates over to our place, so it should take you there. Huh. Yeah! 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 <sighs> I need to catch a break. It feels like I've been running around in circles! There has to be an exit in this place! Maybe... Maybe I can hide out here? Ah! Amy, get on! You guys! Now let's get out of here! Alright! I'm backing out! Hang on! Ah! Whoa! I got gotcha. you. Oh, thanks for coming for me! Haha! <laughs> no prob! Amy! Amy, is that really you? You know what I'm talking about now when I talk about underground men! Oh, hey, a princess. Your majesty. <laughs> yes. Ah! Oh, uh. ah! What? And the crawlers are forming together to make themselves huge! Ah! Whoa! Oh, wow. Wow. Everyone, hang on! This is gonna be a bumpy ride! We need to stop them right here, or else they'll destroy the village. There lived a beautiful and fair princess, a kingdom she loved with all her heart, and one where her subjects loved her just as much. She cared for them, they laughed together, they played all day, it was a happy kingdom. But one day, a plague suddenly fell on this land. They tried their best to cure it, but eventually the sickness got to the plants too. Everyone and everything was dying. This left the princess heartbroken. She pleaded to the gods that in exchange for her life, the suffering would subside. Soon after her sacrifice, the land and her people healed. From that point on, her subjects decided that only their princess's sacrifice can stop their sorrows. So in times of need, they seek her out and bring her back. So that's why they kidnapped me? I happen to look like their long lost princess? Well, that sure sounds like the same plan. Still, what can we do to calm them down? Hmm, maybe, just maybe. What if we, we sacrifice, sacrifice a decoy? decoy? Set up a decoy, huh? Well then, Knuckles and I can keep that monster busy. So glad this is a princess story where I can clobber something. Alright, let's hightail it to the village. Perfect, we can get supplies there. Sticks, can you make a... Doll, got it. Oh, oh no, no, you, you don't! don't. Huh. Ah. Man, that's one powerful hit. Oh. Whoa! Nope, not getting hit by that again. This is gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. 
Any ideas how to bring this guy down? Dead war level, preferably. Huh? I'm just like you! You're just like me! What? You found the kidnappers! Well, yeah, but uh... That's great news! Tell us how we can help defeating them! We need to band together and make a sacrificial dummy for the sacrifice! No! You guys need to hide! They're extremely dangerous! We suffered for too long! Sacrifice! 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 Sacrifice. Mm. You guys really need to leave! We finished! Ready to see it? Already? Uncanny resemblance, right? I guess, but there's no guarantee this will work. At this point, it's worth a shot. Let's go help Sonic and Knuckles. Wait, let us join you in the fight. We've suffered for generations. It's time we put an end to this. No, you guys have to evacuate from here. We can't guarantee your safety if you stay here. But we want to fight. We don't care how dangerous it is. We've been afraid for too long. You guys don't understand! The kidnappers can turn into a giant! Don't you feel that rumbling? How are you gonna stand up against that? It doesn't matter. Besides, I can ask you the same thing. Guys... <laughs> what just crashed? <gasps> I'm a ballerina! Sonic! And Knuckles. Oh no! Are you alright? We can't fight that! Uh, Amy? Stop right there! I'll go with you and leave this village alone! Don't worry, Sonic, I'll be fine. Ames, no. It's okay, it's all gonna be okay. Amy! I'm sorry, guys, I have to do this! She's sacrificing herself for us. What are we gonna do, Sonic? Let's go give them a parting gift. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> hey! Huh? Sonic! Hey! Hey! I was wondering, as my last command as your princess, can you cover your eyes? Huh! Hey, grab on! Hope this works. Oh, you can open your eyes now. Jeez, you guys could have at least shed some more tears if I'm that replaceable. We can't begin to thank you guys enough. We're free from their tyranny! There is no way we can ever fight them. But at least we can make a decoy to keep them at bay. Uh, I hooked up both planes, so uh, we're ready to go. Come on, at least let us fly back. We just got here with minimal screen time. You guys shut off autopilot and almost ruined the engine. I almost had to trash the plane with how badly you guys piloted it. I don't think I've ever seen him this mad. Eh, scary. Hip, hip, hooray! What's wrong? Not ready to leave? I am, it's just... It felt nice being a princess. Everyone admires you, and they're thankful for you caring for them. And not that it means I'm gonna stay here and become a princess for the rest of my life. I'm just saying it was nice not having to worry about Eggman for once. Ah, uh, chill! Ah! Someone's talking about me. I can feel it. Well, we can't make you a princess back home. But I can carry a princess style. Ah, uh, you know, if that makes you happy and like a friend and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Thanks. Anyways, while I'm being carried as a princess, my first order is to carry me home like this. Heh, <laughs> as you wish. What do you mean you're not going? You can't not go. You know I can't stand social events. But, 
I'm gonna be performing there! Aren't you gonna support me? I stopped by to send you my well wishes. I'm sure you'll be perfect. Remember when you told me you loved me? When you said you'd do anything for me? That did not include dinner parties. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the fine print on that one! Mm, you dumb, stupid, old... Ugh! Oh, fine, fine, if you're gonna be like that, I'll make sure I dance with every single guy at that party. Huh, as if that stubborn father of yours would ever allow that. <laughs> Please, he will be so relieved that I'm not fussing over you, he'll be overjoyed. What? Well, I hope you have a fabulous time by yourself. Oh, I, I didn't know you were going dressed like that. Let's get going, Tiny. Good night, Grump Hog. Aurora, wait. Uh, I need to find a suit. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Sonic the Hedgehog and family. Welcome, Hedgehog family. Oh, thank chaos you're here. You look wonderful. But Sonic, I believe it is customary to wear a bow tie to black tie events. That's what I've been telling him. I put on pants, didn't I? And for all just so proud of you, babe. Knock it off, Ames. Pants are a big deal, okay? And reducing Mr. and Mrs. Knuckles the Echidna and family. Is something wrong, Uncle Tails? Oh, no, 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 no. These rich snobs are just a handful, that's all. I can't wait to hear you sing, Lightning Bug. Welcome. All of you. Thanks for having us. Boys, what do we say? Thank, Thank you, you for inviting us to this elegant, elegant, elegant affair. affair. I didn't mean you two knuckles. Miss Rory! Hey, T-Man. Hey, Ruff. I've never seen you boys looking so fresh. Mom put snot in our fur. Hair gel, T-Bone. But might as well be snot. Blech. Well, my date stood me up. Maybe I can steal a dance with you two, so I don't have to spend the entire evening by myself. That won't be necessary. Uh, introducing Mr. Shadow the Hedgehog, quite unexpectedly. Wow. Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady! I'm glad you changed your mind. Me too. I'm sorry about earlier. You look phenomenal. Back off, creep! Oh, I didn't realize compliments were against the rules. Great parenting skills, Sonic. <laughs> now everybody listen! We are all going to be polite and get along, and not fight at our friend's party. Or so help me, I will beat you all into the ground. Curious. I was looking forward to Stix attending. Don't take it personally, this isn't really Stix's thing. Uh, you thought you could pull a fast one on Stix, eh? Inviting me to your evil robot party? I've got my eye on you. So, how are things with Tails? Mostly pleasant. Though, there continues to be a language barrier at times. It's so peculiar. In my former life, my purpose was to translate languages between computers. Yet with Tails, there is so much I still do not understand. Oh, don't worry, CC. It'll come with time. Sonic and I are so close, we don't even have to talk with words anymore. Watch this. <laughs> It worked! What did you tell him? Oh, just that we forgot something back at the house. Oh, sorry, Cece, I'm gonna steal my wife from you for a bit. Okay, thanks, bye. We'll be back! Impressive. Mmm, chicken. Dad! Can I... please have the leg? Only take the leg, just the leg, I swear! Of course you can, bud! Yes, thank you! Just hand me your plate. <laughs> It's mine at last! Return my appendage or I shall exact the law of Talion upon you! That's the spirit, T-Bone! Stuff this fancy party! Okay, so while everyone was focusing on the kids, I may have accidentally stolen this necklace from someone. Ooh, this looks delicious. Come here! As much as I'd love to knock you on your drunk tail, need I remind you that we agreed not to fight tonight? Keep walking, tough guy. Wait, I don't understand. Bartender, <coughs> get this pipsqueak a drink. Oof. You don't have to do that. Oh, but I do. 
<laughs> you see, I've come to the painful realization that I'm stuck with you. So let's just drink up and let me pick your brain, because that's what in-laws do, right? Get your finger out of my face before I rip it off your hand. Cheers, you son of a bit. Wait, are you even old enough to drink, little grandpa baby? Baby grandpa, science experiment man? Give me that. Eh. What did I miss? Have they killed each other? No, they've just been talking. I just, I can't believe my daughter had to pick a genetically engineered mutant to date. <laughs> is what are you laughing at? I just picture the violin showing up at your door and it talks like, Hey, Pops. No. No, no. But, Daddy, I love him. It's a salamander. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It hurts. I love you, man, but I still want to kick your teeth in. And you're like, my friend, but I can't freaking stand you. We should do karaoke. Yes. My dad and my boyfriend are making drunk jokes about me. Well, at least they're bonding, you know? Sticks through me in a dumpster! You all must be clean to your hoity-toity facade! Come on, throw something else in. I can keep this up for ages. That's a family heirloom. Put my teeth back. Put your party pants on, Leroy. Here's a strong <laughs> word, but I really, I really, really, really I don't like you. I really don't like you. Get off the stage! No! I'll fucking kill you! Shadow, I'm the ultimate karaoke. I'm the coolest. Cool boy, but real cool. And then you go, but, 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 You have to give it all back, Rude. Your thieving days are behind you. You can't make me, you you stubborn brute! Tumble, you get down here and give Cece your leg back! No! Give it back, T-Bone! Her hand won't stop attacking me! Well, I've been set on fire. This is my cue to go home. Love the party! Oh no. Oh! This party went to hell and I had nothing to do with it. Why am I on the floor? Why am I wearing clothes? Oh, shit. Why is he in my house? Oh. Oh, your voice is even more annoying than usual. Well, let's see, shall we? The two of you drank the place dry and refused to be separated for the rest of the night. So you invited Shadow over to build a pillow fort. Oh, and you both thought it would be hilarious to bring up embarrassing Aurora stories. She made you both breakfast, though. Guess she's not that bitter about it. Oh, wait, yes she is. Good morning. I thought you guys might be hungry, so I made you this. No hard feelings, right? Oh, and I took the liberty of developing the photos from last night. Don't worry about distributing them. By the time you wake up, I'll have already hand-delivered them to everyone. P.S. This one's my fave, Aurora. Oh, sweet chaos. You have my permission to kill me now. That's my girl! <laughs> so, you, uh, didn't come to bed last night. You decided to work instead. I do not require sleep, remember? Yes, uh, but, well, I'm sorry about the party, you know. You are forgiven. However... I revoke your privilege to host any more of these events. Uh, actually, now that you mention it, I already agreed that we would- I forbid the hosting of future events. Holy crap, Cece, I was kidding! Regulate your heartbeat. It was only a taunt. I could not harm you even if I tried. What is wrong with me? Some type of firewall in my chest cavity? I may need to install some upgrades. Oh, I'm sorry again. Oh, I, I'm, uh, you, uh... Well, you, uh, you looked really pretty last night, I meant to tell you earlier. I'll just get to work now. I completed most of today's tasks while you were sleeping. 
I proposed the idea to use the spare time to do a leisurely activity together. Perhaps to make up for last night, so to speak. And you looked quite... pretty as well. Huh. 